Now all over our weather forecast for the weekend. A lot of people have big plans and big plans tonight for Friday night football. Yeah, and the water vapor in the atmosphere is uh, removing itself uh, quite readily. Let's check out the coast right now. It's a beautiful scene out of Pacific City as the sun is about to go down over the Pacific Ocean. Look wow. at that. That's great. I'm glad we're able to share this time together. Look at that. Yeah. What are your thoughts right now, Laurel? I'm feeling very peaceful, Matt. Pretty calm. How about you, Dan? I am feeling what? Very chill. Like a Hallmark card, right? Very chill. All right, it's beautiful. It really is. Pacific City, 59 degrees, south-southwest winds at 9 miles an hour there. Meanwhile, in the valleys, equally as beautiful and as peaceful. Look at that reflection on the lake there, too. That cloud just kind of teed up perfectly. I say teed up because this is the reserve golf course camera. But again, a great sunset happening. And as Laurel mentioned, a lot of people heading out on a Friday night for high school football or other activities. And it's just getting better by the minute. 59 degrees, light winds out of the south. There are still a few showers out there, but they are diminishing quite rapidly now that the sun is just about set. We had a thunderstorm uh, right along I-5 a little while, a couple hours ago. That is moving on off east of Salem right now. Still some showers up around Clark County and Battleground and then coming in to the coast just south of Astoria. We've got a few and then we picked up a little bit of rain in the last hour actually now up to six hundredths of an inch at the airport. Tenth of an inch up in Vancouver. We look out of the coast twenty nine hundredths of an inch at Astoria. So that was the most rain that we saw <clears throat> on this part of the state. 63 was our high today here in Portland. The hot spot in the state was at 67 over in Hermiston. 60s for the most part around the area, but the higher elevation sites in eastern Oregon staying in the 50s. So a cool day. John Day only 53. Baker City only 56 for a high. Now this storm sort of jumps out at us, right? But it is moving south and as it does, it's going to help push warmer air ahead of it and that's what we'll be dealing with as we go through the weekend. The showers though still extending offshore a bit so I can't rule one out uh, at the coast until about midday tomorrow. By then they should be over but for the valleys we're pretty much out of it now. In fact Futurecast showing a dry morning, some fog or clouds around in the morning but yet a shower or two out around Tillamook. As we go through the day the valley's clear, still a sprinkle or two possible out over the coast range while the Cascades are not seeing that and then it really clears tomorrow night and Sunday looks beautiful. We will have sunshine all day long, get well into the 70s. So again, some really great weather for the entire weekend. Basically, let's look at the long range pattern here and you'll see what happens. There's the warm weather for the weekend. The warm colors building up over us. Then we get the system coming in, just sort of grazing us Monday night and Tuesday. That will certainly bring some rain back to the region. And then it looks like warm, dry weather returns for the middle and end of next week until maybe next Saturday, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's talk about the great weather we have this Saturday and Sunday first, right? Look at the clouds outside right now. They're really beautiful and they are thinning 59 degrees, freezing level 6300 feet on the Oregon coast. Morning showers few here and there and then partly sunny. High temperatures will be in the low 60s. Lows will be in the 40s in the valleys should turn into a beautiful weekend. Showers ending tonight, a little fog in the morning, then sun and highs in the mid 60s tomorrow. 67 in fact down at Corvallis. If we go to Eugene, for the game, the Ducks are back in action against Cal. Should be great weather at Autzen Stadium. That's a five o'clock kick. Should generally be clear by then. Up in the Cascades, rain and snow showers tonight. That's still happening, but they are ending. And then partly sunny tomorrow in the 40s. So, you know, fairly typical, cool, crisp weather for October. Partly sunny, a few mountain showers around eastern Oregon, but not that many. 63, 61, high temperatures there. Partly sunny with morning fog in the gorge, mid 60s. And for Portland, here we go. 65 tomorrow, then 73 on Sunday, 70 on Monday. And there's the rainy cooler day on Tuesday, but we warm up and dry out right back up right after that, guys. Back to you. Thank you, Matt.